Hey, it's me again. I promise two in a row, at least. Um, I wanted to go over um, candles a little bit um, because a misconception I had, and I don't know if this is a common misconception for beginners, but when I first started, I was really under the impression that um, you have to have, like, and I don't even have any of the kind I'm talking about, but that you have to have, like, the long version of these candles, um, or long versions of these candles, you know, the big, thick but then the long ones, the taper candles. And I thought that's all you could really use in, you know, candle magic. And it was kind of difficult for me because there are, of course, colors that are hard to get a hold of at certain times of the years. And um, now I know of other places, you know, specialty shops that sell um, certain color candles when I need them. But at the time, I didn't know that, and it was frustrating for me. So I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a candle 000, <laughs> even more basic than 101 uh, video for you. Um, number one rule in candle magic is that these white candles are all purpose. If you can't afford all the pretty colors, it's okay. It's it's about your intent. It's about um, what you make your um, your candle magic to be, and white is all purpose for that. Um, I don't really have any herbs lying around right now to grab for you, but um, you could roll your candle in herbs and oils to anoint it for the purpose you want it for, um, or instead of carving on it with your um, special knife and the, it, I can't even close it right now, <laughs> instead of carving it you could, and, and this is subject to personal opinion, I know some people are going to be like, what? But, you know, come on, it's not practical for everyone to have a knife. You might have little kids around the house that you have to worry about. Um, but you could um, get, like, a color magic marker for um, the intent that you need and write what it is on the candle that way. So, I mean, these are all purpose. And I have them in the emergency candles. I got them at the Dollar Tree. They're six in a pack for a dollar, which is a really good deal. And um, I got two boxes last time I went, but I use those all purpose. Um, and then, we won't go over these just yet. Um, another thing that was, um, it was a huge breakthrough for me is that they don't have to be like a pillar type of a candle. You can really use tea candles. And my mom gave me this one. I think it's lavender. Yeah, something like that. But it's real, real pale purple. She gave that to me for Christmas. And I used this for um doing my tarot readings because I don't have that many of them. And I want to make them stretch and last. Um, at the Dollar Tree, these are technically scented candles, except for the white one. The white one's just a plain one. Again, all purpose. And these come in a bag with like 20 of them in there, something for a dollar. So you'll have these coming out of your ears before too long if you start collecting <laughs> a couple bags every time you run to the Dollar Tree or Walmart or something. But, um, I recommend stocking up on quite a few of these. Um, and these are scented, and a lot of people are against getting scented candles for um, candle magic. I'm not against it, for one. Um, I don't really see 
the big deal. But um, if you are against it, these are supposed to be scented, but they're so cheap that when you light them, there's no scent, so whatever. Yeah, this one was supposed to be a cinnamon, and the scent is long since gone. And this one was supposed to be ocean, and no scent. Um, and the Dollar Tree, as the seasons change, they get different colors in. Never seen black in there, but I'll be keeping an eye out. Um, I got, these are cucumber melons, so they're like a real pale green. And I don't know what I'm going to use these for yet. They're a light green, though. And, um, yeah, like I said, these still have a scent, but once they have been sitting out for a while, they won't. These are pretty new still. And Walmart has them. These are Better Homes and Gardens. And I got them in like this rust color. And these are scented and I think they're better at the scent. So if you're not for the scent. This is Warm Rustic Woods. And this is, and that really smells like wood. And this is Grapefruit Melon Sage. And it's actually like a darker sage green than that is. I think this would probably be good for a money spell. And, um, at risk of making this video go on forever and ever. Um, you can, and this is just an idea, please. I take away from, you know, don't take my word for it kind of a thing. But for a money spell you could write your um, desire on a piece of paper and put it in the bottom of the candle holder thing and then put the candle back in on top of it and light the candle and let it burn down because they're tea lights you can let them burn down and not have to worry about oh if I go take a shower if I, you know, go watch a movie or whatever, is it going to be okay, you know what I mean? Put it on like a fire safe plate or in a cup or something, just be on the safe side and make sure there's no little kids around it. But yeah, you can let it burn down and then it'll like seal your, um, your de desire, your spell in and then you can decide, um, what you think the best, um, course of action is after that. Um, and I say that because some people live in the country and they have more options and then there's people like me who live in the city in an apartment, no yard, no porch or anything whatsoever and I don't know accept those options. But, um, and you can do that, have that type of an idea for a spell for just about any of the colors, just, yeah. And this is actually my old phone box. But I have discovered, well, there's a bookstore in the area that sells the individual candles. And I can't remember how much they cost, but they are pretty cheap like that. And, again, white is pretty much all-purpose or anything. I'm probably not going to get the white um, chime candles like that anymore, though because I do have the emergency candles. But I'll probably keep a couple of these on hand for uniformity whenever I do specific spells. But, um, I have, this is a really good way to get a hold of black candles because I'm sure after practicing for even two weeks, you're like, oh my goodness, there's no black candles. And, um, I would just caution you about using these because they're probably not for what you think they're for. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say about that. They're not for sending, you know, your ex-best friend to hell or whatever. No, they're not for things like that. They're for banishing, but, um, they're not a bad thing but they can be used in a bad way, I guess, or in an inappropriate way, I guess it would be a better thing to say. 
and um, I, I, anything with candle magic, I would caution you to read up on the subject as much as possible in at least three or four sources. That's usually my, um, that's my rule of thumb whenever I'm learning a new um, subject because people can have differing opinions on certain topics and I think at least three or four um, books on the subject you can kind of see where where they overlap and merge and where they're just like, ooh, this is their own idea, you might want to take it, you might want to leave it, and, um, yeah. that's just my two cents on that. So, for these other ones, yes, you, I can get them at my local store, but since most of you probably don't live in the St. Louis area, you can also go onto Amazon and order a set of 10 and it will come with a white and a black candle in it. I'm just showing you the different colors and I think it's 88 cents for a set of 10. Of course you have to pay shipping and handling on top of that but it's still a pretty good deal if um, you're not near me and you know you can't. Um, and it might be a good deal. Anyways, I can't remember how much these candles cost at my local store. But it's not too awful lot. But these are good for um, when you want to carve across it or something. And um, be a little more fancy. And as you notice, I did not, I don't have any taper candles around here at all. And, um, do I close this? There we go. Um, yeah, I don't have any taper candles around here. And it's not that I have a problem with them or anything. I just, I don't have them. I haven't, um, I would like to get some in the near future, I guess. But I need to get more candle holders. But, um, yeah, you just, you work with what works for you, what you can afford. I don't think the goddess cares how much money you spend honoring the universe and <laughs> all that. I think that um, what what we have in here is the most important most important thing to remember. And um, so that was my basic candle video.